Hello and welcome to Bevo's Tech Pack, episode number 65. I'm Mulrat 208. And as a long line of odd episodes, this is going to be an odd episode. Um, I'm sitting here recording this. It is about four in the morning on what would be Easter Sunday, I believe. I'm I'm honestly not too I don't follow holidays that much. I just know that it's been a very rough day at work. If you ever have the choice of saying, oh, I want a job in retail, say no. Run screaming and say no. Just don't do it. It's not worth it, ever. Um, anyway, so we are actually running on my server again, which is good news. Um, I've managed to actually update Mechanism as well as a slew of other mods up to newer versions. Uh, the main exception for mods I did not update. I did not get Ender IO up to its absolute newest version. Absolute, not absolute. Absolute. Um, mainly because it was causing a crash with its painted conduits and stuff. And my house here is covered in those things. So I can't afford to have that crashing me all the time. Um, but no, I, I updated pretty much everything. Uh, the th only thing I really didn't update is stuff like biomes of plenty and stuff because it does what it needs to do and there's really no bugs that I needed to fix or say, say compensate for. Um, I'm walking into a wall. Let's see. But yeah, pretty much everything was uh, updated. Um, I removed Mind Tweaker. I removed Mod Tweaker. Uh, since those are primarily being used to edit recipes of both um, random things and uh, Warp Book, I got rid of those since I don't use them anyway. Getting rid of random things does remove the uh, Fast Leaf Decay, which is sad. Though it also gets rid of the Blood Moon, which is absolutely fantastic. I really hate the Blood Moon. Uh, Galacticraft got this cool new, uh, grapple thing. You just basically right-click, use a bit of string, and it just zips you right over to it. I could use this if this thing were, like, a mod all by itself. I would use this thing all the time. I would rather have this in the jetpack. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, I actually also put a little bit of time in earlier today, just sprucing this thing up. Um, just for now, I went for a marble floor. I think it's okay. Uh, there are no exposed carpenter's blocks here. Everything that is a carpenter's block now has a texture. Hello, Mara Ted. And these little spikies here are red. I opted to go just to go with the red I was going for originally just because it ties in a little bit better. I have like purple overload under here, so I don't want to go too mad with that. And then we also uh, put some walls on the inside here and a bit of a roof cover. Um, I really don't know what I want to put in this area. So for now, this is, I don't want to say it's done, but I want to say it's like 95% done. So that's that's a good thing for me. Um, I had mentioned a long time ago, well, a long time ago, I had mentioned like a few episodes ago, I wanted to get some like ghostwood trees and plant them around here because I thought they'd look neat. I have not found a single one of those things, and I've been looking on and off. So for now, those things are pretty much not happening, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if we can go to this side. There we go. Oh, good, we didn't miss. I tried that earlier and I just plummeted straight down. Um, let's see. Oh, something that is not good. The uh, right over here where I was doing my uh, pneumatic craft stuff. Now we're plummeting down. Uh, so over here where I was doing the uh, pneumatic craft stuff. Hey, that didn't work underwater. I was getting those massive lag spikes because of a client. Tick was it client? chunk update or whatnot i'm not sure what it was but it happens right over here every now every intermittently every few uh seconds or whatnot it's uh not better as a matter of fact if anything it is just as bad as it was before and it is intermittent enough that i can't really record anything in this area much less do anything for an extended period of time and the bad thing oh here we go there it goes the absolute bad thing is this is also affecting my mob farm I get these, like, half-a-second spikes of, like, no movement whatsoever, and then everything ca races to catch back up. And it's only happening in this area. I don't know what it is, and it, we get a little bit of it going on right now. I do know, though, that it makes this area unplayable. And that's incredibly frustrating right now. Because my major, one of my major projects that I wanted to do is in this general area, and it's currently unplayable. And it's, uh, it's upsetting. It's extremely upsetting, actually. 
Um, there's really, there's not much I can do about it. I mean, really, I, there's some testing software that I can get to see in the world to see what is causing all of the, uh, updates and stuff, but it's, at this point, it may as well mean this entire area is not usable for recording. I mean, I could probably plow through it and play it and it'll be okay, but I can't record that. I mean, really, as is, I'm only uploading Minecraft at 30 frames a second. I know a lot of people expect, say, 60 now for most YouTube videos and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think you'll want 12. It's not so pretty. Yeah, I, I don't like those guys. And my world is being invaded by these guys again. I thought I had disabled them, but they're back with a vengeance. All right. Today's episode, I think, is primarily going to be an update episode. Not necessarily about what is in the mod pack, but about what I've been doing. Uh, past few days and stuff, I've missed two episodes of Bevo's Tech Pack getting them out, and for that, I am very sorry. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning in my semi-rant, semi-wine, I work retail, and as such, around holidays, my time gets kind of pinched, and by the time I get off work, I just want to fall asleep in a corner. And that doesn't work so well when you still gotta make sure you do laundry and stuff, make sure that your, uh, pet who sleeps all day has got food, and then shows she can be up all night trying to stop you from sleeping. Crazy dog. Hello again, Mall Right Ed. Uh, let's see... Anyway, and because of that, I've just not put out episodes that I really wanted to put out. And I really, I don't think it's really a good excuse because I could have found the time to do something else and I didn't, so I dropped the ball on that. But it's just, ah, uh, it's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Um, I've been playing a little bit on a Mod Sauce server, which, funnily enough, Mod Sauce has pretty much the same problem that Bevo's had, has, rather, it is not a new mod pack, because Bevo's is old. Bevo's is like one of the first 1.7.10 mod packs that came out. And it is, uh, it shows a little bit. Most of the mods in here, I can't update them too far without actually breaking stuff. So like the update I did to Mechanism 8, I'm pretty darn sure that Bevo can't actually just push an update to the mod pack to do it, because there are enough things that could go wrong that would make it a non-starter. Um... And then Mod Sauce is kind of like that. The maintainer for Mod Sauce actually hasn't been around to work on it, as far as I know. And because of that, it's got a bit of outdated stuff. It's got a bit of quite outdated stuff, actually. I know a lot of the uh, Hermitcraft folk that were on Mod Sauce have moved on to FTB Infinity. Um, but anyway, I've been playing the Mod Sauce server on the uh, on Fergcraft's Mod Sauce server, which I've been terribly calling Ferg Sauce. I know it's it's bad, but really it's I need I need something to call it. And I've actually been enjoying myself on that, mostly because it's something that I've it's something new. It's uh it's not necessarily all new mods. I mean I'm using Railcraft and thermal, thermal expansion. Railcraft and Tinker's Construct, and I think I have a little bit of electrical age. But we're not going to talk about electrical age because we don't want this to turn into a rant. <laughs> um but it's just new stuff and there's people there and I I can't stress how much Doing old stuff with new people can make it go a very long, long way. Which is kind of funny because in real life I would want nothing to do with people, but over a computer game I'm okay with that. That's, uh, that says something about me. I'm not sure what it says, but it says something. And I've uh, been having fun with that. It's been fun to do. It's uh, I'm actually doing more Technical builds there, I think, because right now I'm in the middle of making a uh, charcoal factory. Here, I would have put down a machine with a block to just cook stuff fed in by a uh, hopper. It's real, real amazing, right? Yeah, I, I, I know. I thought so too. I had mentioned quite a while ago that I was worried about what would happen if I was playing Bevo's to the point where it no longer becomes fun. And if I can't figure out what's causing that uh, horrible lag over by my... Oh, that's awesome. Over by my um, mob farm, I'm afraid it will probably be at that point. 
it's not something that I want it to be at or I really want to happen. It's just the main last project that I have is going to be that mob farm because this is pretty well. I mean, this isn't this isn't good. I'll be I'll admit. If I were to grade this, I'd give it a C plus. I'm okay with that for right now though, uh, because really this is magic stuff and blood ma and magic really didn't play too terribly large of a role in my version of uh, Bevo's here. Like I purposely did not install Thomcraft even though it was an option to get it. I just went for the uh, more tech side, and even then I didn't do too much tech. User joined your channel. That was loud. Hopefully we'll uh, mute that. And if, if that is the case, if I can't fix whatever's causing that horrible performance and chuck updates over there, um, that's probably going to be it for Bevo's. And I know it sounds kind of bad and it's kind of anticlimactic to end it like that, but I don't know what to do. I, I At this point, I don't want to just take it off and just set up a different part of the map. I'd like to use some new mods and I'd like to ignore the sirens going by outside. Yeah, we'll, we'll try really hard to not get caught up in those. And that's one of the main reasons why I decided to play on that uh, mod sauce server, just for something a little different. And I'm, I've only been doing like an episode a week, but I've been having fun with it, which is, I really think, the main thing that matters. And I'd like to do another mod pack. There's I've been playing around with like a lot of stuff. I have been considering, and I probably won't do it immediately, but what I'm considering is putting together a mod pack that focuses on rotary craft and the like. And I, I, I know if you're probably just shaking your head. If you watched any of my uh, old, old, old stuff, I used rotary craft a bit and my uh, a New Horizon stuff. And it was, it was, it was interesting. It wasn't that great, but it was interesting. That mob, that witch spawner, that was freaking crazy. <laughs> uh, I had never created so many freaking witches. You know what? Actually, if you just look over in the corner here, yeah, that many witches. It was nuts. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about that. The other thing I was thinking of is I might just actually just you know, say, you know what? Forget it. Let's let's that magic pack I was talking about. You know what? Let's play it. Uh, for the most part, there's only one or two things I really need to do with it yet, and that is determine if I actually want to keep Ancient Warfare. And I'm thinking I do, because really what I can do with Ancient Warfare, if you've not seen the mod, it is about using... Well, it's about NPCs, really. There are different factions that you can either uh, be hostile to, or you can gain their favor with. They will fight each other, depending on how it's set up. And you can also get NPCs to run machines and factories and stuff in your little areas you set up. So like you can give an NPC worker food and stuff and go tell him to work in a quarry and he will actually cause that quarry to function. And the more workers you give, the better it'll function. Uh, you can also send them to work in a factory and the factory will produce, say, Resto Flux. And this can all tie together with any mod that uses the RF API. So it, it meshes really quite nice. It's even got something that's kind of like, um, kind of, kind of, kind of like AE, but not, it's, it's got like a warehouse thing where you can just store a lot of stuff, filter, pull result, pull results and such. It's pretty neat. It is currently being maintained by GoToLink. So it's, it's been getting some updates. It's, uh, it's a little rough around the edges. I'll be completely honest. It's, that's why I'm a little hesitant about adding it, but it is a really awesome and interesting mod. As I look around, just see what's going on. All right, so what I'm going to ask of anyone watching this, if I'm unable to continue Bevo's, what kind of pack do you think I should replace it with for Minecraft? Should I go for maybe some vanilla Minecraft? Should I go for, say, something using, say, Rika's mod using uh, Rotary Craft and the like? Because I could put one of the, well, I can put a pack using those together quite easily. Um, I think something like that would be focusing on all of Rika's mods. We'd have applied energistics, open computers, and probably for the sake of my sanity for certain things, we'd probably have to run also, say, Buildcraft and Railcraft and the like. And because if we have Railcraft, we're going to need something that will transmit Redstone Flux. 
Since we do not want to go the route of Lodgecraft to do that, that will be very, very painful. Because um, I don't believe that Rotorcraft lets you make plates and stuff you need for Railcraft. But you, you can make a really quite good pack with that, and you can also run uh, Thaumcraft in that too, especially its add-ons, because Rika actually does add a lot of stuff interacting with uh, Thaumcraft. You know if you actually, exp if you take nuclear waste from, uh, what is it, from Reactor Craft, and you expose it to a node and it explodes, it will actually create a tainted node. <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty interesting. I, I, I To be fair, I give Rika and I give his mods a lot of crap. Uh, he makes some decisions that I nece don't necessarily agree with. The mods overall are pretty good. Um... They sound terrible, but that's mostly my opinion. It's User in your channel timed out. that was loud. <laughs> I've got to make sure I turn that sound off. Got to, got to, got to make sure I turn that off. I'm actually currently sitting here idling in the uh, FTB Teamspeak in the AFK lounge. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and sound muted. There we go. So, Arika, Arika pack, an HQ1 pack, say vanilla, my magic pack. Uh, keep in mind, my magic pack is actually kind of a steampunk slash magic. I guess you'd call it, say, like, mana punk. I'm, I'm not quite sure a really good way to describe that is because I want it to be, I want it to have, like, high magic. I want it to be kind of, say, low tech, but the tech that it tops out as is going to be kind of high tech, so I'm not quite sure a good way to say it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of lost and I'm kind of confused. And if you've stuck with me this far, you've realized I am very confused. <laughs> um, I could use some ideas. Oh yeah. Anyway, I want to thank you for uh, sticking around, listening to me ramble. If you have, if you haven't, and you're not hearing this, I appreciate you stopping by anyway. <laughs> um, if you have any comments, any insight, just anything to uh add to my mad ramblings today please feel free to leave a message in the comments below and as always thank you for watching and i will see you next time hopefully with good news